Gentlemen, allow me to introduce to you Heather Payne, who wrote a popular blog post to help geeks like us. Date a girl who spends her money on tablets and web apps instead of trips to the mall. A girl who doesn't mind being told her app idea isn't going to catch on. Understand that if she says she understands mobile tech and teaches Python, she's telling the truth. I know, she just described the tech goddess you all covet. But it gets better. She can also teach you how to code. <laughs> Welcome back, XDA crowd. My name is Jason. We continue our journey down the rabbit hole of code. And yes, we interview Heather Payne. She's the founder of Ladies Learning to Code and the co-founder of Hacker U, a hacker school that we spoke about on the past here on XDA Developers TV. There's really no other introduction necessary. We're just going to go to it. She's fantastic. If you are do want to follow up on some of the courses and programs that she has in a city near you, the links will be provided in the show notes. Here we go. I had this realization that I should have a personal website as sort of a young professional. Um, so I just start I just started looking for more opportunities to learn. Um, and that's what led me to Hi Ladies. Uh, when I was working in Los Angeles last May, in May 2011, um, I came across a workshop for women who wanted to learn Python. I had found uh, Python and Ruby both really, really frustrating and difficult to get started with until that point. So I went to that workshop, had the greatest time, and when I returned to Toronto, I, I thought that we should have something like that here. So I tweeted about how in Toronto we should have a group for women who want to learn how to code, and Ladies Learning Code was basically born. Yeah, so everything that I do um, between Ladies Learning Code and, and Hacker U uh, is for beginners and designed for beginners. And, and the nice thing about sort of having you know, being the leader of those organizations, like I was a beginner so recently and I'm still a beginner in a lot of ways. And so I can really come at those programs thinking about, you know, what our audience, what they will really feel when they come into the workshop or the course or something like that. And um, being beginner friendly is our priority. Um, it's one of the reasons Ladies Learning Code actually has um, a few men at every workshop because it's it's just the most beginner friendly way to learn in, in all of the cities that we're, we're in now. I think there is, I guess there is still some sort of like thing around you have to be good at math in order to be good at programming. Um, that certainly becomes true when you start to build very complex things, but I think it's something that you can, it's a skill that you build and learn. You don't need to, you know, remember everything from grade 12 calculus in order to be a good programmer. Um, there's also a lot of stuff to, that, you know, that has to do with building for the web or creating that doesn't involve much math at all. Um, most of the stuff you'll do to build a website is pretty much math free, um, other than a few things. So I think we need to just sort of get rid of that whole idea that you need to be good at math in order to be a good programmer. Um, if you enjoy programming, so if you give it a try, um, you know, if you come to a Ladies Learning Code workshop, um, which I'm, I'm certain, you know, they're just designed for everyone. Uh, everyone has fun when they come. Um, gain a little bit of confidence, and then if you keep going, you'll eventually, you know, become a great programmer. It just takes time. It takes time and a lot of dedication and, and the people who are the best programmers I think would say that. It's like, it just takes practice. If you want to be a good coder, you have to spend a lot of time coding. Hacker U was really born out of um, the experience we had with Ladies Learning Code. So what we realized with Ladies Learning Code is that people love learning um, when it's hands-on and project-based, because uh, that's all we do. And um, they really like the sort of social and collaborative nature um, of, of the workshops. And so we uh, thought about that, and we also you know, realized that more and more people who came to Ladies Learning Code were asking us to, to organize a long-form course. They wanted to come for multiple weeks or multiple months in a row. And, um, and so we decided to uh, launch that as a separate entity, it's Hacker U, and um, it's basically the same sort of friendly, comfortable environment that you find with Ladies Learning Code, um, with some of the best um, instructors that we've identified through Ladies Learning Code, um, and the, sort of the, a lot of the best practices from Ladies Learning Code, and, you know, it's all hands-on project based, there's a small ratio of students to instructors, it's in a beautiful environment, you know, all of those things. Um, and so our, our, our format, and I guess like the sort of product, it's three months long, um, it's 72 hours in total, and all of the classes take place in the evening. So it's really ideal for someone who is still wants to keep working. They're not ready to leave their job, um, and uh, and they want to just come and learn in the evening. So it's Mondays and Thursdays usually from 6:30 till 9:30. Uh, we take a dinner break in the middle. Um, the maximum class size is 30 students, 
and um, our first course uh, was an introduction to web development. So basically, everything you need to know about HTML and CSS. Um, we don't even get into JavaScript or jQuery because there's just so much that you can do with um, HTML5 and CSS3 now um, that, it, that the whole course is that. And the final project that the students are, are creating is a fully responsive uh, website. And so they'll be demoing those uh, at demo day um, next week. The other interesting thing about HackerU is like there is no certification, um, and uh, so if your employer is, is sending you to a course because they want you to get a certificate, this is really not the place for you. Um, this is for people who are intrinsically motivated uh, to learn these skills, and it makes a really, really different experience in class because everyone is there, um, they've made a financial commitment, they've made a time commitment, and they're personally interested in being there. And um, just the difference between this and you know some of my university classes that I I remember it's just it's a totally different thing when when the students are genuinely excited to be there twice a week I can just say like for the students who have been you know the most committed to the course the ones who have been here every single day their results are just like it, it just makes me so excited and and all of them are far beyond me now in terms of their skills because I didn't actually get to participate in this one because I was so busy like organizing it as usual um, that when they're showing you what they're doing I'm just like this is this is incredible like 12 weeks ago you were a total beginner and now you have like this site and it does all this crazy stuff and as you minimize the window it gets smaller like it's just I'm so excited for demo day I mean because I run both ladies learning code and hacker you I think it's just such an easy you know, answer for me to share with people. Ladies Learning Code workshops are fifty dollars. Uh, it's one day on a Saturday or Sunday. Uh, we do about two a month, and so. And it's not for just ladies. And it's not just, yeah, you're right. It's not just for ladies. Uh, we do have men in that show. It's, it's open to anyone. Um, Great marketing title if you want men to come. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, it is of course mostly women, but we do have men at every at every workshop. Um, and so what I would say to someone who's a little bit worried. Uh, is come to a ladies learning code workshop what you'll find is a huge range in terms of age group um, background cultural background uh, the reasons they're there it's extremely diverse and so you will definitely fit in um, also the workshops are quite large um, typically if it's in this room it'll be about 30 people so that's small for us and if we do it in our other location it's about 80 people um, so there's just a huge group of people we always have a four to one ratio of students to instructors so um, you're gonna have a great experience and then if you like it um, you can start to think about things like Hacker U or another hacker school or doing online tutorials or something like that. But I think Ladies Learning Code is really for everyone. Um, and, and I'm biased, but I really mean this in an unbiased way. It's really just such a beginner friendly way to get started. I think um, no matter what you want to learn, whether it's back end or front end or, or web design or Photoshop, we have something for you and it's worth, for $50 including lunch, it's just worth giving a try to, you know.